Well, hello. It is, I guess it's about mid-April. Um, we're out here by Stroudsburg Rail Gap Pocono Trail. Such a cute little trail. There should be some interesting things along the trail, and we're going to find out in just a few minutes. So if you want to see some cool stuff, come along with me. And we barely started our walk. We've got this cute little bridge. How nice. Crossing the creek. And look at that. Look at this up here. The way it is. We're going to have to take a look at that. All the nice stone. Stone walls for the creek. Or I should say the tiny little run. Look how nice. What a cute picture. Ooh, some of these wood is, is spongy. Real spongy. Okay, let's check this out. Oh, oh my, need to fix that. <laughs> let's go here. Do you see that down there? Whoa, we're only walking a few minutes and we found the old car. Oh, how cool is that? That's been sitting here so, so, so long. My gosh, I can't imagine. Oops. Almost did a gravity check there. Mm-mm. Look at that. Oh, if this could talk. My gosh. I am... Um, this looks even better than it... than I, I thought it would. It's just so cool. Wow. Oh my gosh, rumble seat. This is from the 20s, I think. I think that's what I heard. No, that doesn't really move. But look at that. Look at that. I am. I am <laughs> definitely loving this. Okay. Here's uh, more stuff. Some farm equipment, they said it was. The remains of farm equipment. Not sure what that was from. Looks like a, oh my gosh. Doesn't that look like a cab? What's left of a hood and possibly the body of whatever it was. We have some axles. Oops. Okay, let's go around it this way. That rubber is so, oh man, that's like petrified. Sort of a oh, not sure. You guys are gonna have to help me out on that one because I am not sure. And we have a funnel. There we go. A couple of little things here cans, a couple cans. Oh the old frames from something. Sorry, I have no idea what they were. Look at this thing. How interesting. How interesting. That's heavy. Some kind of feeder. And here another from what it looks like an axle. And here's another vehicle. What, pray tell, was this? Oh my goodness. Okay, it rolled, but it had belts on it. You see there, the wheels for the belt and the motor. So look at that. How cool. This is, you're going to have to help me out on this one too. On wheels, whatever it was. I have no idea. Look at that. Hmm, your guess is as good as mine, because I just, I'm sorry, I don't know. And this, well, Stoker, dare I say maybe a warm morning, remember what they were? They were those nice little uh, coal burning furnaces, stoves, that a lot of the older houses had around here. They called them warm mornings. 
And boy, they really did give you a warm morning. What's on the front? Is there anything on the front? I don't see any words on the front. No names, no words. How about this? No, nothing there. Hmm. That's just what it looked like. I'm really dating myself now, but Grandma had one at her house. Warm morning. And that was about the size of it. Now this is... Oh, good golly. Can you see the writing on that? For, for, it's the FOS force. We're going to have to see. But look at the intricate design around the edge of it. See that? Very cool. Got the grills. We got... Mm. What is this? Let's dare say part of a tractor. I don't know. We have a big tire on the front, or what was a big tire, and a big one on the back. Oops. And we have this too. Whoops, sorry. Can you see that? It's really hard to see. I have to get chalk. Just give it a little rub. But how about that? Very cool stuff. Here's the back of the car again. I'll come up on this side just to see what's over here. If there's anything different. No, not really. Can't really see anything there. Come on around. I love the rumble seat though. That's just so cool. Well, there's no opening this door, that's for sure. Oh my. But we can get in here. Check it out. Look at that. Look from down the linkage to the motor. Got your gauges. Oh, we got windshield wipers. How cool is that? Very, very sweet. I love it. And the lights, look at that. They still got a tiny bit of shine. There we go. And here we have a big V plow. Oh, look at the way that is on rails. That's pretty, that's pretty heavy, man. Usually they just hook up and hang on. But this was made for some serious drift busting. Look at that. Here's another axle. Some only God knows what. I don't know. Can't really see anything there. Come on up here. There's another car. What's left of it? Oh my god, look at that. Bare bones. Bare bones. Oh, if that could talk. That looks like it may have been more of a truck. Oh my god, look at the heads off. Oh, the push shards, the pistons. No, I didn't think they would move. I don't think this will turn either. No, I didn't think so. Very cool. That is sweet. Your shifter, we got your pedals there. <laughs> Look at those. When's the last time you saw pedals like that? <laughs> you didn't. We got the no. Oh, well that moves a tiny bit. Oh, it does. Okay. Because it's not connected. We got speedometers. Or I should say odometers. Very nice. Well, the path is very well marked. It's got rocks all over, as you can see. And, of course, they're covered with leaves. So, <laughs> you really need to watch your step. So be careful. Okay. But we have a little ways to go. And from what I understand, there's some other interesting stuff along this trail. So let's go check it out. And we found it. Here is the water tower. How cool is this? A wooden water tower. Did you know they still make them? 
Yeah, they put them on top of buildings usually. And why do they use wood? Wood is good. It's lighter than metal. It's, see the wood will soak up the water. As they put the water in it, the wood will swell slightly, which gives it the waterproof uh, properties. There's no leaks. And you can see from the, the rods running around it, they can adjust the tightness as necessary, which is very cool. Check this out. You can walk right through. Walk right through. Uh, okay, some of the wood here is not doing so good. But that's all right. We got this. Let's walk through this way. Very good. Very good. I love it. I love it. And the stone underneath. That is just going strong. Here we have a little, what is that, a kid's toy? A little buggy? <laughs> okay, let's look at the tower now. Okay, we're going to look at this, what's left of the floor. Can you see anything? I see a lot of Mother Nature's carpet. Not doing so good there, is it? Did you hear that little creak? That little creak and groan and moan from the wood? The sun's coming out, the wood's getting warm. Of course, the wood has been dried for years, so it's gonna give a little creak and groan when it expands and contracts. Walk through it. That's what it looks like. How cool is that? You know what the wooden tower reminds me of? Petticoat Junction. Woo woo! A little hotel called the Shady Rest at the Junction. Petticoat Junction. <laughs> no, that was never one of my favorite shows, but the music kind of sticks in your head, doesn't it? Here we have. I was so busy looking at the wooden tower, I didn't even see the, the pumping mechanism. I guess this fed the houses. There it was fill it up. There's the pipe to put the water up there to fill it up. And then the pipe to drain water as needed. Very sweet. I'm not sure how old this is, but it's really, really nice. And then here we have a pipe that's like what? Capped off for whatever reason. Hmm. Is this? No, I didn't think that would turn at all. What is that? Keystone. Mm, something. See our griller company. Beaver or something. Here we are with the gears. Oh, look at that. Oh, it doesn't move either. Here we are. Very nice. I'm glad it's preserved. That doesn't move. No, that's just one of those uh, little locks. Fail safe. Oh. Huh. Snap it and turn it. That's like a break, it looks like. Here's from the other side. Oh, wait. We can see this keystone driller company B-E-A-V-E-R Beaver Falls I'm not sure what that says I'm sorry that's very cool how it goes up in there very cool this is what looks like some kind of a car I haven't got the foggiest idea what kind. Here's the steering wheel. And there you have your turn signal. And if they even had turn signals back then, I don't know. What was that? The baby gas tank? <laughs> you tell me. 
But this is sweet walk, a very nice walk. Not that hard. Well marked. Very nice. Well, here you have it. Wilkesbury and Eastern Railroad once crossed this property, connecting coal and passengers to New Jersey and beyond. The entire line was abandoned by 1940. A fallen spin now leaves a gap over the creek. Let's go see if we could find that. Well, somebody left a hat here. I guess they found it and left it there for whoever uh, it belongs to. Smoky Mountain National Park. Yeah, come on back and get your hat. You want that one. Oh, God, it's such a beautiful day. And the creek is just flowing so nicely. Look at that. That's got to be, oh, I would say at least knee deep for me. Probably deeper above the knees, yeah. And we haven't had rain most of this week, so it's, it's a little bit on the low side. You can see on the other side where sometimes the um, water goes up, where it comes up here. You can see it. It's a shame that um, it's so close to the interstate you get some noise. But you know, once all the leaves fill in, it won't be as noisy. The leaves will buffer a lot of the noise. See down here. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> Those rocks, they look so white from the sun. It almost looks like snow. I bet that's gorgeous when you get about an inch of snow. Look at this little spot. Is that gorgeous or what? Oh my gosh, I'm so glad I came on the other side of the creek too. That's beautiful. Wow. Oh, yeah, that's just beautiful. I'm going to get down there somewhere. I want to take a picture. Hold on. I'll get you down there. Look how beautiful. Ain't Mother Nature wonderful? This is turning out to be a really, really beautiful hike. I mean, look at this. You can't beat this. Mother Nature at its best. Just kind of like resets your mind, recharges your batteries. I love it. It's great. Let's go hike a little bit more. Look at the roots on that tree. There's like a small island in the middle of the creek. But look at the roots on that tree, how they've grown out and stretched out crazy and of course you know when you get a lot of rain I'm sure the water is maybe two probably three feet higher just wipes that out and of course the uh, tree is surrounded by knotweed so that knotweed and it just it's so invasive I don't know whoever brought it over thinking it was a nice thing just that and the kidzu the Japanese kidzu just invaded everything it's hard to control it. And anyhow, isn't that pretty? The way those roots are. Well, that was a very nice walk. I really enjoyed that. Very nice trail. It's marked. It's perfect. It's beautiful. It's perfect time of year. It's only like 48 degrees. I took my hoodie off. It's beautiful. So come on, enjoy it. You'd love it. Anyhow, I'll see you in the next video. Peace, baby.